I can hear from what you're saying, there is uh, a big role of fear here that is playing part. Can you please tell me a little bit more about this role, this hard role? Okay, let's talk about retail, specifically retail corporate mentality. Uh, an important thing for someone to understand that once you've gotten the meeting with someone in the organization, that you have to understand that there is a high level of fear by those, uh, that those people hold in terms of having their name associated with a solution that maybe is overly complicated, overly expensive, and doesn't solve the problem. So there is a, there are a few items of fear that I just want to enlighten you to. The first is bad experience with technology. So as technology has evolved over time, people have gone into solutions enthusiastically over the years and not gotten the results that they want. So that's, you know, there's a bit of fear there. Then there's the second type of fear, which is, well, I don't know if I want to put my flag down on this yet. It's still an evolving technology. What if something better comes along? And we'll talk about what better means. In a nutshell, better means less expensive and easier and faster to do. That's pretty much how it's defined. So that's the second type of fear. And the third type of fear, which is uh, very nuanced. And when you're in that room, you sort of have to try to figure out uh, which fear trigger this person has. And there's two options. The first is, will bringing in this technology let me keep my job? So are they afraid of some sort of career uh, challenge? And that's <laughs> a perpetual issue in corporate America. Uh, so will this help me keep my job? And the second fear is, will this help me finally get that promotion? So it's a little bit of survivor slash hero uh, mentality in all of it rooted in a fear. Well, if I go forward and I recommend this, I'm afraid I might not look like I had a good handle on what's happening because six months ago, I recommended a different technology. And it only proves my second point of fear, which is there's always something better coming along. So we don't really want to commit. That being said, with all of that, laid out for you, the most important thing is to, to establish your authority. And the way you do that is by comparing yourself to the other solution providers out there. The more you talk about your technology against the backdrop of another technology, flaws and all, things you can do well, things you don't do well, and compare it very much so to the, your players, your competition, the comfort level of the executive to know that you're being brutally honest and letting them know what the landscape is will inch you closer to having a trusted relationship. One more point on that. That's the work that that executive or someone on the team will have to do. They'll have to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the technology providers, the pros and the cons, all of them. And when you go in with some of that work already done for them, there is an endearingness that happens to it. Uh, so the fear on the part of the technology provider to avoid mentioning other companies or to talk about areas of your solution that maybe aren't as strong as other areas, that fear needs to be overcome as well. Amazing, this is so important to understand. So by giving him examples, you also give him the opportunity to understand better the technology and the challenges and the problems, and then he doesn't need to go and look for it and you reduce the fear of fear. Reduce Absolutely. the fear, yeah, yeah, great. Absolutely. I like to say you wanna do the work for them. Um, nobody, I mean, they're overwhelmed. Without they're giving them knowing, yeah, but giving yeah. them the feeling, yeah. Of course. Very important.